Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the CLR20R3 error that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Microsoft Edge for today's tutorial. And you want to search for Net Framework 4.8 into Google. And you want to go to the Microsoft domain. This is download.net framework 4.8. Go ahead and open that up. Again, make sure you're getting it directly from Microsoft.com. And you want to select the download.net framework 4.8 runtime button here. Just go ahead and select that. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up that file to open it up. It should be a verified publisher from the Microsoft Corporation. And select yes. At this point, go ahead and close out of the web browser. So it's already installed on my system, but if it was in your case, you just would go ahead and finish the installation process. And then something else we can try here as well, if you have a specific program you're having the problem with, would be to open up that shortcut. Go ahead and search for that program like you normally would. I'm just typing in Chrome, but it can be whatever the application is. And you would right-click on it and select where it says Open File Location. And then you would right-click on the highlighted file or folder or shortcut that it directs you to and then you would select properties and then in here you would select the compatibility tab and then you would check mark where it says run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then I would recommend selecting an older version of Windows like Windows 10 if that's in here but you can also do Windows 7 or Windows 8 as well either or is probably fine and you would just go ahead and select apply and OK once that's done close out of here and now you want to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once it has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.